you, Mr. President. Mr. President, Excellencies, distinguished delegates, colleagues, and friends, uh, as this is my last uh, global update to the Human Rights Council in a regular session, and before I turn once again to the important matter of access and cooperation, Mr. President, twice in the course of my mandate, I have reported on the troubling failure by a number of countries to grant access, and I will do so again today. These refusals of access constitute a serious affront to our work, and where there is sustained denial of access and serious reasons to believe violations are occurring, we will consider the option of remote monitoring. The officer's mandate to conduct, to conduct such monitoring is unassailable, and if the government concerned fears uh, there may be inaccuracies, it should permit us uh, in to see the situation on the ground. In Indonesia, I'm concerned that despite positive engagement by the authorities in many respects, the government's invitation uh, to my office to visit Papua, uh, which was made during my visit in uh, February, has still not been honored. Mr. President, we request access so we can better work to help bring states' laws and practices in line with the commitments which they themselves have made. <laughs>